What's up guys, Joe here, welcome back to my channel and today we are back with the finale here with Recreating History 2014 and we have of course Il Lombardia in Italy, a big monument, maybe the biggest with the most mountains uh, in terms of climbing compared to the other monuments and in this one we are trying to recreate Dan Martin's victory, I think the second monument at this point in his career after Liège a few years before and it was a late 500 meter attack that won it for the Irishman. So quickly analysing the start list before we get underway today, as always I will have a link to my discord in the comments where you can find a channel recreating history where you can download the start list if you want to play it yourself but we have Rodriguez, a big favourite of course, the Spanish puncher, we have AG2R, Bardet, Pozzo, Betancourt here as well and here he is. Dan Martin, the man we're going to try and take this win with today. Phil Gilbert, he was there in the final back in 2014. We also have TJ and Cato Evans for BMC. Rigo Aran, I think he was only at Quitstep for one season, one or two years. But anyhow, he's here with Quieto, Ruta Pools and a young Julian Alaphilippe. 22 years old right there. Alejandro Valverde, he was second in the sprint behind Dan Martin. But Valverde, of course... One of the favourites here today in Italy. Alberto Contador is here for Tinkoff Saxo. Balco Molima and Wilco Kerdman for Belkin. We have Fabio Aru. He was there in the final as well for Astana. Mikel Lander as well, 24 years old. Not quite uh, developed at this stage of his career to who he is now. We have Ben Swift, De Moulin. Also, we have Tim Vellens who was there in the final in 2014. But they have numerous options with Galapan. Van and Dirt as well. As we go through the final teams, Thibaut Pino is here. Albacini could surely be an option as well as two very young Yates brothers, 22 right there. Very strange to see these guys uh, when they haven't quite developed to who they are now. Anyhow, Frank Schleck is here and we can see the final teams. Rui Costa, I think he was there as well. Uh, the world champion at this stage in his, uh, in his career for Lamprey Merida. I am cycling ahead and then you can see the final teams in Italy today. Away we go then here in Italy and we get a zero race day with the man Dan Martin riding for Garmin Sharp. Of course, an interesting jersey if you ask me, not my favourite from this season. Let me know actually which is your favourite jersey from this 20, uh, 2014 season. Anyhow, we're not going to go in the breakaway in this one trying to protect Martin at all costs today and what makes this race I think quite different to the Il Lombardias we have seen in recent times is that there is no massive climb over 5 or 10k in the final 10 or 15 kilometers and there is less climbing in general it looks to me on the parkour so that makes it a lot more likely that we'll see the likes of Phil Gilbert get to the finish of course a good sprinter and with 70 Mountain, he could well make it to the finish and compete in the final today. Which, yeah, will definitely make it more difficult for Dan Martin. Anyhow, we do have seven riders up the road. Four minutes is their gap. So we're now entering the Colle del Pasta. And really, there hasn't been too much action so far. But we are now really going to start the big, big climbs for the day. And we also have some very strong wins, as you can probably tell. 36 kilometers per hour. That definitely has... The potential to impact this race. So the peloton now enter the Colle Gallo and it's Tinkoff Saxo laying the hammer down. Surely that is in the service of Alberto Contazor. I've put some guys to the front as well. We have the likes of Nathan Haas trying to get to the front but it is a hard tempo already which suits Dan Martin today because he is one of the strongest climbers of the contenders for sure. So this is all good for us right now. Now onto the Paso de Ganza then. 144 riders are still in this group. So I've put rider Hesiodal. We're going to happily use up the Canadian on this climb. Trying to make it a difficult race for Martin and push some riders out the back here. And this is where we should see the most selection, especially towards the top. And there goes one of the favourites, should this be the 2020 run race, Julian Alaphilippe going out the back. We don't have too long left in the Paso de Ganda right now. 91 riders or 89 now apparently are in this group. But as you see, plenty are getting dropped. Dan Martin needs to go to 92 as we're seeing Moreno up the rhythm right here. 41 now 
are at the front. Tomiata Salata is able to set a hard rhythm. Let's go to his wheel actually over the top here. Tomiata Salata up to 90 into the descent. We're making it a difficult race like I hoped. And Dan Martin still feeling pretty good with 34 riders in the front. And this is exactly what I was hoping for. The likes of Bardet, but Phil Gilbert out the back. That is a big name to have pushed out the back already in this race. We have Mollema out the back. Kelderman to Mulan struggling. Ruta Pools, Rigo Aran also struggling. Doesn't seem it's going to be their day. And so what we have now is three teammates able to help out Sam Martin for the remainder of the race, I hope, 36 riders. So a few did come back on, but hopefully we can push the likes of Mollema and Kelderman straight out the back. And we seemingly are doing just that. Hesiodal and Acevedo really doing a great job for the Irishman today. And Martin still looking so good. So we have plenty to try some moves. We're now seeing Daniel Moreno, a big helper for Katusha, struggling. And Hazel Serrada was just dropped to the top of that climb as well. Let's set a hard rhythm as we approach one of the biggest climbs remaining. So Asvedo and Hesiodal are now done for the day. We have Tommy Slatter trying to lead out Dan Martin onto this climb. And we're gonna have to try something I think early on here. Slatter up to 99 and there goes Dan Martin on the attack. We're up to about 5%. We have Kadel Evans, Rodriguez, Contador Valverde all in our wheel. And suddenly we have eight riders at the front here with Dan Martin and Contador on the counter attack. Let's try and follow him. Or should we try and follow Alejandro Valverde? That should be fine. Here we go. This race is about to be won and lost. And Valverde and Contador seemingly are some of the strongest right now. Quieto does counter and Dan Martin is starting to show some signs of weakness. We just need to push this climb. Rui Costa, please don't block me. We're seeing Evans and Betancourt struggling. Quieto, Contador, Rodriguez and Valverde are up the roads and Dan Martin, let's just go 99 to try and get to their wheel and then try and recover in the descent if possible. Aru trying to bridge up as well. Are these guys going to help me? And we're going to need some help into this descent here with Dan Martin. Let's relay at 85 and hope we can get to that group of four as Valverde struggling to the top and he is dropped right there. Still descending as we come under the 20k to go banner. Dan Martin trying to recover on that descent and he is a poor, de uh, poor descender. So luckily we were able to stay in this group. But now Valverde and Evans have done a lot of work and the front three are still up the roads. Rodriguez, Constor and Quieto. It is a very, very strong group. We need to work well here and they have a 30 second lead. This could be unassailable. Fabio Aru giving it a real good effort trying to get back in here but we are following the wheel of Kazel Evans. We are just approaching this little climb so you know what we're gonna have to try something right now with Dan Martin to try and get to that group at the front and what an acceleration that was by Dan Martin. We have 30 seconds to bridge. It's a massive effort right here by the Irishman Rodriguez. Quieto and Contador press on though and we are still 20 seconds behind them. Valverde, come on, try and work with me Alejandro. We need some help right here to get to their wheel and Costa, Evans and Betancourt aren't going away. So these guys have caught us again. Let's get in the wheel of Rui Costa. We need to recover. I've tried to work so hard in the recapturing of the front three, but Contador, Rodriguez and Quieto are just too strong for us today, it would seem, as we come into the final climb. Let's go 99 with Dan Martin and attack straight away on the foot of this climb. Dan Martin giving it a real good effort to try and catch the guys at the front, but Contador is going for the win. We have Rodriguez and Quieto in his wheel. I think Martin is going to have to settle for a place outside the podium today. Going to be very, very disappointing. One minute behind though, we have been outclassed for sure. Um, I think we can try and take this fourth place though in a sprint. We have a downhill section to the line. Let's just go 99 with Dan Martin. See who can take it up the road. Contador, Rodriguez and Quieto. Probably Quieto the favourite on paper. Contador gets the jump on those guys and Alberto Contador wins Il Lombardia. Rodriguez just about holds off Quieto for seconds and Dan Martin, can we hold on for fourth place ahead of Betancourt? We crack to the line, a terrible performance. It's going to be sixth place today for Dan Martin, sadly. Well guys, what can I say? I tried to blow the race up on the Paso de Ganda and we did that 
but not in the end to our benefit. Contador, in the end, is the one to make us pay, but Rodriguez and Cueto were there as well. Valverde will be very disappointed, I feel, with that climb that he was dropped on to the end, but Dan Martin gave his all, and we couldn't recreate history on this occasion. But anyhow, guys, that will round out the five monuments. I did plan to just do the five monuments from this season. Maybe we can try some other races from this season or even go to some different databases and try out some different uh, different years as well. So we can kind of take a look through a few different periods in cycling. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. If you have any ideas of what you'd like to see in a similar style going forward, do let me know because I'll be happy to try and produce that for you guys. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today. Drop a like on the video if you did. Hit that sub button if you're new and I will see you in the next one.